after seven. The oh. axe cut, yeah. <laughs> Ryan, we're all groaning. Yeah, he drops. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what's happening? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Welcome to the show, Ryan. Um, 19 after 7, the ACT Party is promising a shake-up to the school system. The policy focuses on what it says is a refreshed curriculum, which will include enforcing standardised testing and letting school boards take over other failing schools, among other things. Hora Hora School Principal and President of the Te Tai Tokido Principals Association, Pat Newman, joins us this morning. And we should point out he was a Labour Party candidate in the 2010 elections. And we're also joined by senior fellow um, Dr Michael Johnston at the New Zealand Institute. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. New Zealand Initiative, sorry. Um, Dr Michael, what did you make of this policy? Let's start with you. Well, there's quite a lot in it, and uh, a lot of it, I think, is well overdue. I, I, I like the idea that uh, the Education Review Office is going to focus a lot more on achievement, that uh, it, there's going to be a real focus on that. Uh, the curriculum ideas are interesting, that, that schools or groups of schools could uh, develop their own curricula. I mean, a lot of them are doing that already, but the idea that the Ministry of Education would move from being a curriculum writer to a curriculum developer, uh, subject to, you know, certain guidelines, schools could produce uh, their own approaches. Uh, I like the fact that those would have to be based on some evidence uh, and that obviously core subjects would be present. Um, let's, let's go to Pat. If we just focus on this achievement issue and, and so what they're wanting to do is standardised testing. I feel like we've done this before, Pat. Um, what did you make of this aspect of their policy? This is a typical example of why politicians should be kept out of education. And I've done 44 years of being a principal in schools throughout New Zealand. And for 44 years, I've had to put up with nutters coming out with policies such as this every three years, in fact, more than three years. And then they wonder why we have a system where we have problems in it. If they kept their hands out of it and actually let us get on with the job and gave us the resourcing, instead of coming out with what I call a supermarket model, which is, this is what this is, it's a supermarket model, let's take over the schools that aren't working. Let the supermarkets take over another uh, um, supermarket and I'll make it work. And we all know how the supermarkets are really being successful at the moment, don't we? We have had national testing. We have had about 10, 12 years of it. The result of the national testing is that we have more problems now than we ever had before. We talk, they talk about offset. And our dear statistician in Wellington talks, you know, um, there's this marvellous of changes in Aero. Look at offsets. Do, an, do a um, Google on offset and look at the suicide rates amongst principals and teachers in, in, in England. Look at the comment from parents about it. Look at the narrowing in the cu curriculum. The, the ACT Party quote Australia. Go and look at the Whitlam report on, on what's happened over there. I guess, Pat, if, if, we, if, if we just look at it from, from their perspective for a second, the standardised testing would allow us to identify where the holes are, would it not? <laughs> if it was accurate. And I'll tell you what, I don't know whether you're a mum or not, but do you want your five-year-old tested? Do you want your six-year-old tested? Do you want... Uh, uh, and, and, and what purpose is the testing? And if you knew anything about education, you'll know that that is not actually the way to go. What we have is a political answer to try and soft-soak people. What we need in schools are curriculum advisors in all subjects. What we need in schools is actually the resources to cover the, the, the needs that we have rather than putting um, new systems in that have already failed overseas and have failed in New Zealand already. Let's this is not new policy. Let's bring in Dr Michael. What do you make of the fact that, because it's not just talking about schools, it's talking about before schools as well and ACT would like to introduce a before school check. Traditionally we know this is a medical thing, just can you, can you see, mm -hmm. can you hear, that kind of thing, but now they want to look at the academic side of things. What did you make of this aspect of it? Well I think it's a good idea to gather more information on how school ready children are. Uh, I was at a school in a, in a pretty disadvantaged community a couple of weeks ago and the principal there was making the point that 
Lots of kids, more than ever, are coming in with real oral language problems. That's obviously a barrier to learning. It's a barrier to learning to read. Uh, so I think gathering more information is a good idea. I wouldn't like us to see, to see us move quickly to punishing centres that are seen not to be making progress. I think there's a huge amount of factors that they have to contend with uh, in the background of, of young children's lives. Uh, it, it's certainly true that measuring uh, very young children is a fraught business. I, I don't think it, it would be very accurate at an individual level. I think if we aggregate the data, though, we could get a, a much better picture of how school-ready our very young children are. Mm. So. Uh, I, it, it, I have some qualified support for, for that policy. Uh, I, I think it should be information rather than uh, something that's used to, to punish uh, centres that are not seen to be failing. There, there may be a place for that as a last resort, but I, I wouldn't like to see us move quickly to that. Yes, and, and that's what ACT is proposing, to cut some funding if they're not up to standard, right? Pat, what did you make of this? You've obviously seen the results of children not being up to standard when they get to primary school, but should we be testing them before they get to primary school? When, when they don't have to go to early childhood education. We, we should be doing look. We should be doing the health tests, we, which are already in existence, but they're not. Everyone's not picking them up. Those all should be done. But this is a top-down model. This is a political answer to try and soft soap parents. It's a negative one. It talks. I, I mean, for once, I agree with the doctor. Uh, doctor, um, I'm sorry, Dr. Michael. Uh, the, yeah, Dr. Michael, in, in that. Um, Perhaps aggregating data might help, but this is not what ACT is saying. ACT is talking about publicising the data, that going back into league tables of what schools are supposedly successful and comparing, for instance, a high decile school to a low decile school. All this Right rubbish. when we just got rid of the decile system. Pat, yeah, I just think we're getting confused based... between a few different issues there. Yeah. No, we're not. We're looking at actually how this would apply. Well, no, we were talking the about the early childhood centres, and you're, you're, you're now jumping to, okay, to standardise testing in schools. Pat, let's bring it back job. to Act's policy. At, based on current polling, there's a good chance that they will form a government. Uh, is there any aspect of this that you like? I like the ability for us as communities to develop our curriculums, but that is already in existence. Right. It's already happening, and lots we of schools are doing it. We do some more support for schools doing it, though, don't you think? Well, it, it makes out that what you just said, it makes out that some schools are not doing it. Most schools are doing it and are required no. to be doing it. But yeah, I but want don't you think we could do it with some more support for them to be doing it well? I mean, I, I, I actually wouldn't give this to the ministry not, that, to do. That makes sense. I think, I think it would statement be... that, oh, I was answering your question if I could. Sorry, go ahead. You said about doing For, it well. Formal, we you have a little bit of back and forth here. I think we'll leave it there, guys. Thank you so much um, for that this morning. That's Ted Tai Tokoro, Principals Association President, and he was also former Labor Party candidate Pat Newman, um, joined by New Zealand Initiative Senior Fellow Dr Michael Johnson, 27 After 7. Very heated topic.